Hello, hello. I uh, hope you had a wonderful on passive day. Um, Mr. Mufar provided some great information today saying that uh, there are no longer three scenarios, but two, right? Uh, he also told us again about uh, our site and its applications being down. Um, the reasons were a bit twisted up in the chaos, you know, that we just came through. But for the most part, it all had to do with the lack of oversight and mismanagement by certain individuals inside the company. Um, as Ash explained previously and again today, a lot of those involved no longer work with the company. Now, what happened to us, those things done to Ash and the company, right, and the rest of us by extension, uh, it was all done intentionally. These things are going to come out eventually, and I'm sure they're going to be repercussions for those that were responsible. Anyway, Mr. Mufara told us uh, today about the concerns he had, you know, about our applications, the years of hard work, and of course, our database. I mean, who wouldn't be concerned about that? It's got to be worth millions. Um, that's my number, not his, by the way. Uh, he just says it's worth a lot, called it a treasure today. Then, though, he drops a, a good news bomb in a, in a way that every bit, 100%, right, of our digital stuff has all been recovered. Now, that means our source codes, the applications, all the work, everything from day one until now, right, 100% saved, everything. So, whew, man, that's great news. The database, which contains our data, as, as you would imagine, probably, uh, that's our profiles and our logins, our customers, the referrals, the wallets, the funding, everything, right? The bonuses, all of it. And you can talk to any techie that you want to, and they'll tell you this is real cause to celebrate. Everybody involved, everyone in the IT sector, they fully understand that it's all been 100% recovered. And this is incredible news. And as you'll hear Ash say, we didn't lose a single line of code. That's remarkable in my opinion. But as good as this is, we're still not live, right? We're not back up and running yet. But it does mean that we've got the data and all the information that we need to build the new digital infrastructure. Woohoo! Life is good, man. And that means that we've got what we need to recreate what we had and what we were. And this is excellent news. This is how Ash says it. I have been uh, trying to come out here with more precise uh, updates and information about what we've talked about last time, which is the three scenarios. And uh, there are no longer three scenarios. Right now we have two scenarios and they're not A, B, C that we've had, so we've got to revise them as of today. Uh, so the first update I want to uh, let you know as of now, we all know, I hope you know by now, that our site and sites and applications being down, unfortunately, was done because of mismanagement of certain uh, individuals. Some are no longer with us. In fact, many are no longer with us uh, because of that massive uh, mistake. They hurt, uh, hurt the business and, and our uh, daily activity. So that was done. Because it was intentional, obviously, things were complicated. We were very concerned about our applications, our hard work for many years, and our database, which is worth a lot. It's treasure, okay, et cetera. So as of today, I can tell you we have safeguarded and recovered 100% of our source codes, all the applications, all the work from day one until now, 100% saved. That's one. Two, the database. Basically, your data, your profile, your, uh, your profile, your login, your customers, referrals, the, the wallet, the funding, the bonus, all of that, uh, all that also, database, all the people in the IT sector, they understand, it has been recovered 100%. So as of today, we did not lose a line. This is good. But still, 
not live. Not it doesn't mean today we can access again. This means we with with the data, with the information we have as of now, we can build a new infrastructure anywhere or a new hosting, all of that, day and night. Okay? So we're good. Now, obviously, it would have been a lot more challenging if we weren't able to recover 100% of what we need for the business. Thankfully, that's not the case. On the tail of the good news about having all of our data, Ash went on to say that we're going to be back up and running, and then we're going to move on to the next phase, what he's calling phase two. In the clip that follows, he tells us we're going to keep pushing until we're 100% on track, and that will continually uh, be communicated with, right? He's going to communicate with us uh, continually about the next phase. And it was at this point that he gave us two scenarios, or I think that's what he said, that there were two. We'll, you, you'll be able to listen to it. <laughs> um, it's uh, highly unlikely that either one of these is going to happen in the next few days, but they can both, either one, be expected to happen uh, within, you know, like the next 30 days. He says, if all goes well, it should only take 30 days to get back on track. And it really doesn't matter which scenario manifests because their timing is only about a week apart. So regardless, right, both of these are expected to happen before the end of September. And the bottom line is simply this, we're solid. Ash has indicated that he's 100% confident that we're going to be up and running soon. Um, but we do need the time, you know, to to, to restructure uh, um, before things actually go live. Um, but, you know, hey, last month we had three scenarios. Now we're down to two within 30 days. Life is good. And either one of these should have us up and running by the end of September. So life is good. And we're not expecting any surprises. Uh, here's Ash saying all this in his own words. It's obviously going to be recovered and we're going to resume business and move on to the next phase. It's not where we're worried about what if things don't come out uh, complete or we're unable to recover 100% of our business. That would have been uh, more, uh, you know, challenging. Regardless, we are going to keep pushing and we're going to continue this uh uh, battle, if you wish, until we are 100% uh, uh, on track, and immediately we will communicate to, with you about the next phase. So uh, moving forward, I'm going to give you now the two scenarios, okay? Both scenarios are within the month of September, we should be able to go back, A and B. So one is a little faster. Okay, it's not going to happen like in the next two days. I, I'm very uh, accurate with you. Uh, if if everything goes well, uh, you know, we have either, it's just like a week difference or something. But at uh, most before the end of September, like within 30 days, uh, we should be backtrack. If things happen sooner, uh, obviously that would be the first uh, uh, preferred uh, scenario. We no longer need uh, three months and two months, and uh, it didn't happen this week, obviously. So we are revising uh, the uh, scenarios. Uh, number one, uh, we are concrete now. We have 100% uh, confidence that we are coming back real soon. Just give us a t time to revamp and restructure things so we can go live. Uh, we have A and B, both are before the end of September, very much so. Uh, we don't expect, you know, uh, surprises or any setbacks because uh, we gave ourselves a little buffer. So it might happen, you know, even sooner, but at most it will be happening within the next uh, 30 days, okay? So, in closing this all up, we're quickly opening a new chapter in the on passive, and there's going to be a lot of excitement moving forward. Ash has indicated that uh, we're going to see another whole level of quality 
with the accuracy and the uh, reliable tech that we wanted right from the beginning. And Ash has got us back on track, but there's a lot more work that needs to be done before we get settled in and where we want to be. Now, resilience and determination were two of the factors allowing us to uh, weather the storm, so to speak. I, I believe lesser men, lesser companies would have given up, not Ash, not on passive. Now, I think it's time to look to the future as we rebuild and as we eventually thrive. So hope for and expect the best. And while it's good to do that, it's also good to be prepared for setbacks just in case the car we're in gets flat or runs hot, so to speak. We've gotten some great news, so let's enjoy where we are on the way to where we're going. Thank you for listening. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have an awesome, awesome on Passive Night.